Hi everybody, Alan Peterson here with uh, FictiveUniverse.com and AlanPeterson.com. Wanted to shoot this uh, quick video to show you uh, a very cool integration between ProWriting Aid and Scrivener. I've been very happy with the way that works. Um, I use Scrivener to write my books and I use ProWriting Aid uh, to help me uh, clean up my manuscript as much as I can before I then uh, pass it on to the humans. So before I send this out to a line editor or a copy editor or a proofreader, I want to get it clean and I do that using ProWriting Aid. And uh, I really like ProWriting Aid. I tried Grammarly as well, but I prefer ProWriting Aid. And I actually I uh, bought a lifetime license to it. And so they have a web app that uh, is popular and I've, that I've been using for a long time. And what I was doing, I was uploading the manuscript to that. Um, but then I realized that they have a desktop Scrivener integration. So I was very excited about that. I already use ProWriting Aid. Uh, it already integrates with my, uh, I have a Chrome extension for it. So that way it allows me to um, spell check and, and use ProWriting Aid with Gmail, for example. So the integrations already work very well. Uh, so I was very familiar with it. So I was excited to see that. And according to ProWriting Aid, the, uh, the, it's the same web app, uh, uh, the same uh, bells and whistles that you'll find on the web app. Uh, you'll find it on the uh, desktop version as well. So anyway, so here on the providing aid site is where you download it. So I went ahead and downloaded the uh, desktop for Scrivener. And so let me show you uh, the manus my manuscript here. This is the uh, manuscript that I'm working on right now on th my thriller. And so as you can see, it's already all written out here in, uh, in Scrivener. And it's uh, 96,000 words uh, and it's so it's a you know so 96,000 96, words and uh, but it's it works very nicely with that integration uh, with uh, providing a uh, aid even uh, a big file like this so let me go ahead ahead and close the uh, Scrivener file and let's uh, open this up on uh, providing aid so I'm gonna go ahead here I already have it installed and as you can see it checks the license everything is cool and so if you're familiar with uh, Scrivener, you'll notice that this looks very familiar. It literally just, this is the Scrivener file on the uh, desktop integration here with providing aid. And so uh, let me show you how that works here. Um, I'm working on chapter three here. And so you, you can turn the uh, real time uh, uh, issues checker here. And as you can see, it's got all the bells and whistles, the summary, you can do the summary as well. It just takes a few seconds for that to load. Um, so as you can see, it's got the summary report, which you can print. It's got all that good information, all the issue, possible issues. And I, I can print that. So the, the Sarah, it has everything here. And so here is the errors, and you can just go through it then. So as you can see uh, here, it's suggesting a, a comma. Another T, here's another suggestion they have of passive verbs. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, oh, here's another one. Uh, here's a sp uh, no, more suggestions, another comma missed. So anyway, so you just go through everything here. Uh, you don't have to uh, take everything, of course, but here's all the little suggestions that they offer. If you want to accept it, you can accept it. If you don't want to, you can just hit ignore <coughs> and so forth and so on. So let me show you now uh, this here. Let me just write something here. I'm going to write uh, edited on PWA. Okay. And so let's go ahead and save this uh, here on providing aid. Uh, go ahead and hit the save. So let's close the uh, providing aid app. <coughs> and now let's open that uh, back up here on uh, Scrivener. And as you can see, here it is. Here's what I just t typed up. So it, the integration works really, really well. So all the, uh, all the, um, the errors and everything that you check and that you uh, ignore or accept or change on the desktop uh, providing an app will be integrated and brought into a Scrivener seamlessly that easily so it, it really works the integration works very very nicely and so um, it uh, saves a lot of time versus 
uploading the manuscript. And if you if you if you uploaded a, a, a big manuscript on the web app, uh, sometimes it was too big and there's just just some more little issues. So this way, it, uh, it the size doesn't matter. It'll easily be opened up on the providing a desktop app, and then you make all the changes there. And then uh, when you save it, you just reopen it here on Scrivener, and all the changes will be here. And then you can go ahead once you're happy with the manuscript, then you can just go ahead and uh, and compile it and move on to the next stages. So anyway, so I just want to show you this because I really. Uh, this integration between uh, Scrivener and uh, ProWriting Aid um, is I'm very impressed with it, very happy with it, and so I wanted to do this uh, quick video to uh, show that uh, to you. All right, uh, thanks for watching.